Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the latter rain. Healing the sea, confirming your word. Thank you for the latter rain. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In the confirm Thank you for the love. Now, come to the devotion of today. You learn something. Women, particularly, learn something. Married women, particularly, learn something. So, let all the married women stand up. What did you learn? One, one minute. Praise the Lord. Thank you. In this uh, devotion this morning, one thing I learned in our class here is that in a home, when the, the head of the home, which is the husband, is talking, we should learn to be quiet and listen. And that even when the situation or what he's saying maybe is not right, maybe what he's saying is not right, or maybe what he's saying is not pleasant to you, that instead of talking back to say, no, it must, it must follow this way. Let it, let's do it this way. That we should not force our will to be done. Rather, we should withdraw and pray so that he should get the understanding of what is in our mind, what, the way we want things to be done. That we should, not, we should not force it on him. As we try to tell him to understand, if he didn't understand at that time, we should withdraw and pray. And as we are praying, God will touch him and he will do that which is right. Thank you. Next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for the Bible study this morning. Honestly, I learned a lot. Our teacher did his best to explain to us. And there's this point I want to mention. He says, Christ said we should submit, our, the Bible says we should submit ourselves unto our husbands as unto the Lord. And he also mentioned a portion in Matthew. He said that Jesus said, Blessed is he that, is he that found no offense in me, that is not offended in me. So he told us that you should not see the offense of your husband. Don't see the fault of your husband. That is what will help me to obey him, to submit fully. Because if I start seeing offenses, I will not be able to submit fully. And truly, sometimes I'll tell my husband, allow me to express myself. I'm exp I feel I'm expressing myself. But today I have learned that I should not see any offense in him. And I pray that the Lord in heaven will help me to submit continually in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God because I learned that we should not deny our husband. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because in any situation although when i s we read this today's topic I, that day i've been preaching on this topic but i discovered that each, even though they repeat the topic several times even, even every week once is because of one person or the other because today it's not that we are not being hard in it i had it but this today i've turned my my life around praise the lord but me since about let me say what her passes through my husband left he traveled since over almost three months now i promised in my heart that if he return back i'm going to do this i'm going to do that but i forgive him i forgive him as i've learned this now that anytime i return back <laughs> there will be peace amen. there will be joy amen praise the lord Hallelujah. i thank god for today's lesson because I used to wash my husband's clothes. As my children grow up, I refuse to wash again. I say, I have grown up children, they will wash my husband's clothes. 
My teacher make us to, make me to know today that there is a blessing for when you wash your husband clothes. Say, may God give me grace to continue again in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate the name of God for this message because I'm a kind of person that at times to submit, I will submit, but in some areas, I will not submit. Because this issue of to submit your body, everything, your material, yes, I submit. You can testify about that, but issue, I will say, Kai, I'm tired, I'm tired. And our teacher makes us to understand we should submit in every area. We should give total submission the way if God called you today, say in your phone, or if uh, your pastor called you, your husband called you, you respond to your pastor first before your husband, which is bad. And he also said that the respect you give God, give God the higher respect, and also your husband and totally your pastor. So I learned a lot. May the Lord help me to keep this teaching in practice in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I thank the Lord for um, today's um, teaching, even though it has always come up and um, it's always new. When we read um, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, the way our teacher analyzed it, Kai, I have to pen down some things from there that struck me about wives. See that you reverence the husband. Now, he now analyzed that word reverence. He said, deep respect, deep submission, deep obedience. I caught it. I said, God help me. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In our class, our teacher taught us a lot, and uh, he told us that among the contributors, that humility, some have it, but as a Christian, you should pray for it so that you will submit, whether your husband is a believer or not. And um, the thing really went deep in me. I said, God help me. Because you that is having an unbelieving husband, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So I was praying. I said, God, give me the grace. Give me that grace so that I will stand. And he also told us that we, it's not just about being a Christian. You are serving God. Also learn to cook. Because truly, there are many women that don't know how to cook. I remember there was a house I went. When I ate the food in that house, I wept for the man. Because the man is a pastor. I said, Kai, I don't know. I, I, in short, it, it's the worst food I have eaten. I said, if his friends come to the house, how would they eat this food? So, Amen. so please, we should learn it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sincerely, I learned a lot in this morning, in this teaching. As our teacher told us this morning, as a wife, as a child of God, heavily minded, you need to respect your husband as a wife. Submit to him in everything as you do. Even your husband is an unbelieving husband. Through your action, your behavior, your respect, your submission, it will change him. And he will come at a time that he will support you in everything. He will even, if there is something that he's doing to you that is no good, because of your submission and obedience and respect, it will come to the state that he will apologize and love you much the way he did before. And I pray that God will help us as a wife to submit and respect and obedience to her husband in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned this morning that we should learn how to answer our husbands, even when they are speaking and bringing up provocation words, that we should stay, stay calm. That it's supposing a visitor is in your house and your husband is vomiting some things out. That the person will be watching to see your reaction. From there, the person will know whether you are a holy sister or not. So the preacher told us that we should learn how to stay calm, no matter how hard or how provocation the words may be. May God give us the grace in Jesus' name. Thank you. Our message today is a reminder of what we have been taught in Holiness Revival Movement here, that our submission unto our husband in all the things that are good and not evil is the doorway of our going to heaven.
So it's a reminder to me today that no matter who we are, what we do, without total submission, in all the good things that are not evil to our husband, we might not be able to go to heaven. So I pray that God will help us and give us grace that in all things will be, we should be, I should be submissive in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise. Uh, hallelujah. I want to thank God for the message of this morning that talk about submission. I learned that we should submit ourselves to our husband and whenever the husband is talking, we should keep quiet and listen. Not that when he talk one, you will talk ten. So I learned that we should calm down and listen to what he's saying. And even if he says something that offends you, you can keep quiet or praying in your heart that let the Lord, because sometimes if my husband says something I don't like, I always say, God, help me, give me the grace. That's the prayer I always do in my heart. So I learned that we should submit to our you husband. You should give me the grace to do what? To be submissive to my okay. husband. So. so I also learned that we should submit our body because some women, when they are fasting, when the husband needs them, they will just ignore them. They will say they are not ready. So I learned that if you are doing fasting, you should let your spouse know, discuss with him, so that when the time that is in need of you, you will not deny him. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, though I came very late to the class, but what I learned is that it is the will of God for every godly woman to be submissive. And also, I pray that God should help me, even though my husband used to tell me that I'm stubborn. I pray that God will help me to be submissive to him. Um, uh, how do you feel when he tells you you're stubborn? Give it to him. And when he tells me that I'm stubborn, I used to maybe the way he's thinking and the way me i'm thinking we're not thinking the same way like something happened yesterday and he told me to do something and i said no but to me it wasn't a sin but to him he was saying that me i wasn't obeying what he's saying so that's where the stubbornness came from so what's your decision now yeah uh, we submissive to him in everything okay Yes, let's go forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really thank God for today's devotion. I learned today that I have to respect my husband. I don't have to take the position of my husband. Mm. And I have to always seek for counsel from my husband anytime I want to do anything. I should not do it on my own without his consent. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The area I learned is that as a wife, we have to, it's not easy actually to be submissive, but we should create for the help of the Holy Spirit and allow ourselves to be healed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will help us to be submissive in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned a lot of things this morning in our class. One of the things that I learned is that the submission of a woman to her husband must be complete. Mm -hmm. As unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And also that we must do them good. Even though, for example... A woman that married to an unbelieving husband, maybe the husband is not praying his part. You, as a believing woman, you must do your part. And also that we must render services to them. For example, he gave us an example. A woman must be cooking to her husband, washing his clothes, and so on and so forth. And I pray that God will give us the grace to obey in Jesus' name. Give you the grace to obey. <laughs> Say it again. Amen. That Say God will give me the grace to Amen. obey in Jesus' because name. Because other women are obeying already. Yes, next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned from the 
godly woman in our commentary and I was asking myself if it is me will I be able to keep quiet without saying I want to express my mind since the husband has spoken to her right from before the meeting that she will contribute but when it got to uh, the meeting the husband took over and he took his own position and she remained quiet she did not say anything and at the time the meeting finished the husband asked her why didn't you contribute she humbly said since you took sight how will i go against what you have said and she kept quiet so it is a very good virtue and i said that god should give me such grace thank you amen praise the lord Hallelujah. i want to thank god for the study of this morning it has taught me a lot of things that i should be submissive to my husband i should not look at myself higher than my husband i should always bring myself down it reminds me of a dream i had i had a dream and i saw somebody came to me and the person told me that i should reference my husband ah. although the way i used to do to him within me i'm not satisfied but i thank god because if you are a child of god god will always direct you so i'm grateful to the teaching of this morning the, dev the dev devotion of this morning teaching us that we should respect and honor our husband we should do it according to god's will not outside the will of god we pray that the lord will continue to bless us in jesus name Amen. praise the living god Hallelujah. i want to thank god for today's book review i learned that we should know what our husbands are doing truly many women don't know what their husband is doing that is why sometimes when their husband is late they find it difficult to pick up the homes another thing i learned was when our teacher opened the book of genesis he said the lord has given the authority over to the man to rule the homes so we women we are to submit to the husband so i'm praying that god should give me the grace to be submissive to my husband in jesus name yes the name praise the lord hallelujah i really want to appreciate god for today's devotion really it is not today that i'll be hearing about this submission that they has been hammering on it if you didn't see it in the uh, message you will get it in devotion you will get it in your own personal assignment uh, doing but this morning there is a place our teacher highlighted that caught me he was a kind of telling us a home it's like he visited the home maybe because of his intonation i didn't get it clear he said a woman that welcomed her husband when her husband came back from work the way she welcomed the man you know remove his clothes and they brought a cord of water for him to drink even when the man was making the illustration this morning my husband was beside me here lamenting on that area i was pinching him to keep quiet <laughs> praise the lord mm. because it has been his heart desire that each time he comes back from work i will welcome him you know although i don't know maybe because of the way he's putting it that made me not to take notes very well because he will say he is looking towards the day he will come back with his suit and briefcase then i will come and hug him collect his briefcase remove his suit you know those kind of a thing so but i don't know why maybe that is why i'm waiting for the briefcase and the all over but i know that sometimes if i'm less busy if he comes back i will hug him collect his bag but i am not doing it regularly but i remember inside on tuesday i was at home i wasn't in the conference when he came back i was trying to fetch water i remember i went and uh, collected his bag welcome him i don't know whether it's devil that is removing it from my head not to remember 
But this morning, that area actually caught me and I've repented. May the Almighty God help me in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really thank God for today's teaching. I joined Horimo as a single, so I've been learning about it since. So as I entered into the marriage, sometimes a voice will be telling me, you are overdoing it. Your own submission is too much. That's the voice of Satan. And then today, I learned that our teacher kept on emphasizing that everything that you are doing, you are doing it unto God. Everything at all has a woman, has a wife. You are doing it unto God. And as if they stamp it in my heart, I just believe it. And then I hide my husband. I now fix Jesus. I begin to view Jesus. And to the glory of God, the joy, one kind of joy was multiplying in my heart. I was just smiling. Praise the Lord. So I learned that as I'm serving my husband, I'm sub being submissive to him. It is to Jesus that I'm doing it. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned that as a woman, I should be submissive to my husband in all things, not in some. In order for us to have peace in our home, that I should be submissive personally to my husband. I pray that God will give me the grace and the strength to be submissive to my husband in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for the teaching. I learned that my submission to my husband is my first ministry. I went through the book yesterday night before I went to bed. I was just crying that God give me grace to obey him. And even this morning when our teacher was saying that uh, women, we are not on our own. Even when you are not married, you are under your parents. When you marry, you are under your husband. I was just praying that God give me grace to do this obedience to the end of my life in Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I thank God for today devotional. I learned a lot. Uh, our teacher said submission is a key in marriage. And he said we should submit to our husband, our body, our money, and everything. But he said we should submit according to the Lord, not doing otherwise. Especially some of our sisters that are husband are home believer, they will tell them, don't go to church, especially don't go to her remove. If you submit to your husband that told you not to go to church, especially maybe Oromo meeting, it's not according to the Lord. So I appreciate God. I learned a lot. And he said we should know how to speak to our husband, especially at home. The way you speak to your husband at home, sometimes maybe you are talking to your husband anyhow. When you go out, you will still talk to him the way you are speaking at home. So we should be careful the way we talk to our husband. I pray that the Lord will help me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Submit the to Lord. Jesus. Submit. Let not your husband say you should not go to church. Or you are a member of Holiness Revival Movement, Hore More. And your husband said, don't go there again. Uh, wisely, boldly confidently go forward because that one is for your eternal life he has no power over your soul be bold about it yes praise the lord i bless god for this morning teaching by the grace of god i have been through prayer god has been helping me because i know that submission will not be easy or it's not easy unless a woman prays and subdues her herself you have to subdue yourself under the lord first before you will be able to submit your husband the place i really gain my uh, benefit this morning is from the commentary and the commentary about the past uh, the pastor's wife that went for a meeting with the husband and 
she was given the privilege to contribute in the meeting but the sister chose to, uh, chose to keep quiet because the husband took a position already so i in short i was truly blessed because if i am the one i might be tempted to take my own position if my husband what he's saying is not according to what i feel is right i will say no i will when i i will stand up i will say although daddy has said like this but look at how i see it and uh, that might not all go well uh, maybe in the present my husband may keep quiet but maybe when we get to the house it will become a problem praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i want to thank god again and again because this topic it, we've been hearing it over and over and over in tapes in books in every aspect and i pray this morning when the teaching when i saw the teaching when the man of god was teaching us i was praying in my heart as a sister lillian lord help me that my my submission will be complete and there's a particular place that our teacher emphasized he said don't be hypocritical in your submission he said we should be like jesus jesus took the form of 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 um of servants unto the lord he did not equal himself with the lord that we are the same and we should be like jesus and that we should see our husband we should submit to our husband as unto the lord just like my sister said as if it is jesus we are seeing and we should not make it conditional that okay uh, he has to show me love then i show him uh, submission that we should let you should be the first submit first and i was praying i said lord especially because of those of us that have position we are example my prayer is that lord give me grace to be total in my submission to my husband amen praise the lord Hallelujah. i want to appreciate the name of the lord for today's um, message the devotional uh, the godly woman and her house and from the key verse in ephesians 5 verse 22 he said wives submit yourself unto your husbands as unto the lord the instruction is not from the pastor or from anybody the Lord God himself instructed us to submit ourselves unto our husband. So if we read from the first paragraph, he said, Submission is the key in women's ministry. As a child of God, as a godly woman that wants to go to heaven, it's my duty to submit myself unto my husband. In my communication, my character, my attitude, my behavior, I should submit myself unto my husband. Amen. And amen yeah praise the lord hallelujah first of all for this submission it's not easy for women like yesterday it's not easy for women that are not born again <laughs> women that are not committed amen. to jesus like yesterday my husband told me today message i will understand very well i said i wish message so it's true to listen to this message this uh, submission you see it touched me and our teacher teach us if you come up for banga or some family the attitude of the mother of the family the anger and the children will pick the anger of their mother and the everything the attitude of the mother to went to the husband house and start to behave the attitude of the mother to the husband house and that is true because i saw i have a friend like that where i have is uh, the mother attitude the behavior because i still I, I live with them i know the mother i know the children all and when this teacher is teaching us this is the behavior of the mother and the, the daughter married and went to the husband and the same character of the mother she uh, start to do with the own uh, the husband house so then they used to look complain every time Say this, uh, this your attitude, your attitude, you, you make your mother attitude. You go and take your mother attitude. I will not marry you. So this is big confusion for them, for their husband house. So for my own husband house, please, I want to beg my husband because there's something where what happened with us yesterday. She make a comment for me. I refuse the comment. Please, I'm sorry. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Practical submission. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. Where is the husband? Can the husband wave his hand? Let me know. Is the husband there? Where is the husband? Wave your hand. You can sit down. Yes, the next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for today's teaching. We're told to submit unto our husband. And that our submission should be total. We should not be coerced or forced. It should be willingly. We should submit willingly. And it should be as unto the Lord. Just as my sister say, whatever we are doing, we should do it as unto the Lord. And we should also learn to take care of our husbands. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for this devotion of today. I'm guilty in that area of submissive your body to your husband. Mm. Truly, I'm guilty. Yeah. And God has told me this to more than two or three times. Remind me when I was not married. Mm. I asked him, God, give me a husband. And if you give me a husband, I will make sure I take care of him very well. And anybody that see my husband will appreciate God for him. And even woman reject him. As you give me, if she see him, she will admire him. So it's what I used to ask God before I marry. But now, God tell me, you tell me I should give you my son. And now I give you. You are not taking care of him. And my husband is the kind of person, if I talk, he don't like, like, argue with me. He will not talk. So I'm guilty. I will, I will repent. Now, nah. uh, hold your microphone. Everybody bow your head and pray for her that this confession will be original. Amen. Make this confession original in her life. Let it, let it be so. Let it be so. Let the husband be happy now. Let the husband be a happy man. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned this morning that let our character and our weight show that we are under them, not on top of them. Because some, sometimes we speak as if they are our mates. May the Lord teach us how to speak to them as we speak to Jesus in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I learned this morning about this uh, submission. It was very, very important. And today I learned so much because I used to argue enough. But today I learned not to be argument with my husband any longer. Amen. I supposed to be submit in everything. Because even in a world, when he seems not to understand what I'm saying, I will try to make him know that I'm speaking sense, but <coughs> it will bring a misunderstanding, which is not good. I pray that God will give me the grace, the enablement to be totally submissive to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God so much for today's devotion, teaching us that being submissive to your husband is the will of God for wives. Okay. And so our submission also should be in words that we shouldn't speak harshly to our husbands. Mm -hmm. Our words should season with grace and um, we should take good care of them mm -hmm. and pray for them. Sure. Amen. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God because this is the manifestation of the love of God for us women. Now, in, the, in our class this morning, uh, that illustration in that book really shocked me. In fact, when I read it, I also read it in the morning before even at the morning devotion. I said, what? So, this thing this woman did 
was right. Because I, I know in many occasions we have a meeting and sometimes the meeting will be very hot and there will be bombarded, bombarding words like that. And I, I will be quiet. And when we go out, I remember the recent one. When we went out, my husband said, asked me and said, why didn't you say something in that meeting? I told him, I said, the Lord did not give me a word. And I used to have peace when I keep quiet like that and come out. But the devil will come and say, see, you failed. You would have said this, you would have said it, you have said it, you have said it. And I said, no, Lord. In fact, I, I will feel that I may even go back and say it. But the Lord will say, don't. What you did was right. So what I read about that woman this morning, I really placed my heart. I said, God, thank you. Please help me to do like this. Submission to our husband is, is not just, just is something that we have to do for our peace. The peace we need in our homes. If we don't do it. There is no peace inside our hearts and in the general home. May God help me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Thank you. I really appreciate God for the message this morning, morning devotion. It's talk about submission. And actually, in that area, I have the short coming in that area. At times when my husband, the way he reasoned, is different the way I reason. And because at times the way I look at it as he's quiet, I think his own thinking is lower than my own. So at times when he's talking, I would tell him that no, Oga, this is not how he's supposed to be. And the argument will take place. But today I have learned a lot and I pray that God should change me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for today's devotion. I really appreciate God for teaching me to be submissive to my husband in all area. Especially, he said, as a woman, if you are working, maybe your husband is aware of your present salary. Peradventure, maybe there is increase. You may decide to hide the increase or known to him that your salary has increased. You keep it to yourself. And maybe, probably, may, you may be building somewhere without letting your husband to know. He said, that one is no good. As a woman of God, reveal everything. Let your husband know everything. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really want to appreciate God for our devotion this morning about a godly woman and her house. I really want to say in this area of submission that God should give me the grace to be submissive to my husband. Mm -hmm. And my husband should find joy anytime he's at home. Anytime he wants to come home, he will be joyful and the children at home, they should be joyful anytime they're at home. Our husband should not go and be eating outside while we, the wife, we are in the house are supposed to cook good food for them, take care of their clothes. I think before I, I got married to my husband, I love him. I cannot eat until he is around before I will eat. But now all my attention have gone to the children. If either I cook, if you come, I just say, Esther, go and get the food and give it to your, to your father. I pray that God will give me the grace to be submissive to my husband. The first love I had for him, God will grant me more love, to love him more than during our honeymoon, our courtship, that same love. God should give it back to me in Jesus' Amen. name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the message this morning. I learned a lot about submission and humility. Although if you have an, a husband that always comes with angry spirits, it's not easy. You hear about the children before you come to hear about it. It's the grace of God that has been there for us. And I also learned that what our teacher taught us this morning about Zezebel and uh, Ahab although is is evil ways but Zezebel do something on behalf of Ahab everything Ahab did Zezebel is there washing and then took the position on his behalf although is in evil way our own should not be like that my own should not be like that in Jesus name Amen Praise the Lord Hallelujah Praise the Lord. Amen. I learned that 
God himself put my husband to direct and guide me that even if he directs and guides me and I'm having another opinion, the word of God teach me this morning that I should submit, even if it's not to my will, that I should submit. And also, I also learned that I should, I should not be talking while he is talking. And I am fond of doing that. And I pray that God will help me to submit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate God for this topic. This morning, I will just say, God help me as my children are reading their devotion. In the text, they talk about the virtuous woman. I say, God help me. I want to be like a virtuous woman. How she submits to her husband. She even built by a land and built for her husband. Some things when I do... And I will always say, I am tired. I am tired. My husband, come and take your position. You are putting much burden on me. So I pray that God will help me to continue. As you see, there is a service that I'm rendering unto the law. And it's for righteous and heavenly race in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for the devotion this morning, talking about our home and a woman that served God. She shall be praised. This morning, I wake up early and I go through the devotion. And I started checking in the area of my relationship with my husband. I remember earlier enough, before you come to home more, when I always call him on the phone and I say, can you pray for me to be like Sarah to honor you? I always ask him this question and ask him to pray for me. And I learned this morning in the devotion that the first ministry of the wife is at home. You start from your house and you be submit to your husband. I learned in the area of uh, the woman, the husband come to, to her and say, today we are having a meeting and I want you to contribute. I think it's a good advance in marriage, giving her an idea and praying about it. So when she see the husband decided, I think her heart agree with it. So I pray that whatsoever my husband decide, according to the Lord, I will agree with it. Amen. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really thank God this morning for the devotion. What I learned is that I should remember whatsoever I'm doing uh, unto my husband, I'm doing unto the Lord. So I should be an example for my children and my husband to see in the area that I'm guilty and I thank God for uh, this morning is that whenever my husband is talking, I would like to defend myself. I, as conversation is going on, I will jump in the middle trying to defend myself. And I've, I, I've learned this morning that it's not good. I should be silent. I should be mute. At the end of it, I'll also bring my opinion. I, I, I pray God help in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. So before, I, before me and my husband, we started coming to Horemo, we were attending Redeem. So then the home was full of argument. But when we started coming to Horemo, I started hearing teaching to women on how to be submissive to our husbands. So today's teaching is an added advantage to me because when I started submitting to my husband, I saw the change in my home. After I graduated from the university, I was struggling to get work. Already I'm working in my state. So I was trying to like to secure a job with the federal government, all proof about it. So due to the submission, my husband now said, you can go and further your studies. So my husband has been happy. The way he saw I'm um, treating him, I have changed completely. Sincerely speaking, there is peace in my home. There is love. There was this day I went to plate. He gave me money to go and plate my hair. So when I was plating, I received an alert. When I saw it, I said, uh -uh. I now called him. I said, is it to go to market? He said, no, I should keep it. So when he came back to the house, he bought a chicken, this roasted chicken. 
So when the children were like, Daddy, what is inside this nylon? He said, no, it's for your mommy. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. So when I came out from the kitchen, I greeted him. I said, uh-uh, what is it that you're telling the children that it's for mommy? He said, I should come and say, I open. I saw that it was chicken. I said, thank you. So it was later in the night, he told me that sincerely speaking, my behavior has changed a lot, a lot. And has I made it very happy with me. <laughs> so I'm urging the woman, please, if you are not submissive, submissive to your husband, please, from today, this teaching that we have had, all of us should put it into practice. Not that as we have had it, we will leave it here. Let us take it to our home. May the Lord give us the grace to continue in this in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We, we give glory to the Almighty God for the, the uh, daily devotion of today. So one of, one of the points that our pastor made mention of, I learned from it. When God created Adam and Eve, he first created Adam. Then he, had, he saw the need of giving him a woman. And that is how Eve came to be. Because God saw that Adam needed Eve to succeed in life. So, as a wife, God made us to be married to our husbands. So that the family will succeed. The family will succeed in every area. So when we submit ourselves in every area, financially and otherwise, we see that there will be progress in the family. The husband will also succeed financially and otherwise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, the topic of today actually affected me because it's talking about submission we wives being submissive to our husbands my husband always say my wife you are good in every area except one i said what is that area he said when it comes to relating as one you are not there for me mm. so that thing used to trouble me i said god because Anytime he comes, I'll say I'm tired. Anytime he comes, I'll say I'm tired. So, in fact, he got to a point where we say, okay, let's have, tell me what days do you think that you will be free to have time for me? I gave him days, but I wasn't faithful. So, <laughs> as this message, as this devotion was going on this morning, I said, God, I am guilty in this area. Please help me. Because sometimes, after saying I'm tired and the rest, I'll say, God, what is wrong with me? Even though you are tired, why is it that you cannot just release yourself? But I don't know. But today's message has taught me that even though I am tired, I should be able to submit myself to my husband so that he will be happy. Since this is the area I'm having failure, let God help me so that I can pass. Pray for her, pray for her, pray for her. Terrible area, terrible. Pray for her. That's it. It's to be torment to the husband. Cast out that spirit. Jesus' name we pray. Continue, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the message I've had today about submission. It has helped me right from the time that we are coming here for book review about uh, the book titled Submission. So since then, it has helped me a lot. Because before, my husband used to, sometimes I would take, when he takes a particular decision, I will know that it's wrong. I want to argue out to tell him that it's wrong. But now, but I, when I do that, sometimes I discover that it will bring us problem. So when I started hearing from that book, as we are hearing the message every day, if I tell him, if he take any decision, I will tell him, please, it's wrong. If he argue it, I will leave him. 
So sometime, you now go out, somebody will tell him that this is what you are supposed to do. It will now come back to what I have told him before. So I just thank God that the message has helped me again to submit more to him. So I pray that God should help me, give me the grace that whatever decision or anything he is doing, I should obey him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really thank God for today's teaching. I learned many things, but what touched my life is that our teacher tells us that every woman, every woman going to heaven is under the feet of her husband. So that place really touched my heart. I say, wow. He said, even though you are praying day and night for making to heaven, if you are not submitting to your husband, you are not going anywhere. That place really touched me. I pray that God should give me the grace to submit unto my husband as unto the Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for the teaching of this morning. That talks of submission. When I was coming, I asked, when I saw the, the devotion, I said, I'll ask a question. But what is this submission all about? Submission, every day we hear, they say women submit, this one submits, women submit. But in the course of our teaching this morning, um, one sister asked a question. That what is the cause of women not submitting to their husband? And Mommy Glory answered the question and said, Most women, when they are not being well treated, they feel like they are not loved by their husband. They are not well taken care of by their husband. They like, what should I even submit when this man is not taking care? He said, God should give us the grace. Even if we find ourselves in that situation, we should submit. Even when, even when we, we, we know that this is what is, we should just submit that God should help us to submit. And in that area, I was so blessed because he answered my desired question. Amen. When you submit, even on that difficulty, God is the one to pay you. God is the one to reward you because he is the one that demanded your submission to your husband. Don't see submit, the blessing coming from your husband. It comes from God. But many times, he also... He steers your husband to give you back a chicken. <laughs> Amen. Yes, more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I really learned a lot today. I learned to submit to my husband in everything. As a woman that wants to go to heaven, you cannot give half submission to your husband and think that you are going to heaven. That without this on submission has made many people to learn themselves, both themselves and their husband to hell. And I pray that God will help us to walk our salvation with trembling, so that both myself and my husband will make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want I am really blessed by the message of this morning talking about submission. Honestly, I don't know how to thank God for this, but I pray that the Lord will deliver me from the spirit of stubbornness because this is what my husband has been telling me. I am too stubborn. I don't know. Sometimes I will decide to say I will change. I will even ask him for forgiveness. I will say I will, I'm changed. Before a while, you will see me acting on those things again. But I pray by the message of this morning, that power that is causing me, to not to do the will of God because I know submitting to my husband it is submitting to Jesus obeying him is obeying Jesus that is what I learned this morning if I'm not obeying my husband meaning I'm not obeying Jesus and I'm not ready to go to heaven I pray that the Lord will help me this morning as I hear Everybody this message pray for in her. Jesus pray name for her. let the spirit of born again come upon her a new creature a new creature let the lord take away the stony heart out of her flesh and let the lord give her a heart of flesh to make obedience easy jesus do it in your daughter change your daughter 
set her free let the spirit of obedience take over her life let the husband enjoy her jesus name we pray yeah. praise the lord hallelujah i'm grateful for this morning teaching i really learned a lot from this morning message a godly woman and a house what i learned from this message was from our teacher he really illustrated the case of ahab and jezebel despite they were evil doers but jezebel gave full attention to her husband and it was recorded in the bible that ahab had other wives but those wives were not mentioned as jezebel was mentioned because of our closeness to her husband so what i've learned this morning i should give my husband full attention no matter my busy schedules I sh that is my first assignment i pray the the lord help me in jesus name amen praise the lord Hallelujah. i thank god for this teaching this morning and be somebody that even my husband need me my attention I devil used to put a lot of things in my heart for me to practice if my husband want to come to me I will be lying I will used to lie say daddy I bet I'm tired in fact tomorrow in fact there are many things that I used to say that with me is a lie I will not tire maybe I will say sleep I will say this I will say that but I but today from today i'm not going to lie amen I'm not going to... jesus will help me because on the wedding day i promised him that i will submit myself to him where jesus come where jesus come so that i will see jesus on the last day so jesus will help me from today no more lying again and jesus will help me Pray for her, pray for her. The spirit of lie, remove it, remove it, remove it. A total change of Jesus, a new life, new life, new heart. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil, destroy lie, destroy pretenses. Give her a new spirit, a new life. Jesus name we pray I have learned to work on myself and not find faults in my husband as Christ I don't find fault in Christ Jesus I, ha I don't need to find fault in my husband so that's what I've learned Amen Praise the Lord I want to thank God for the preachings of today I tell us that we should submit all things to our husband. Everything that belongs to us, our money, everything, our body, we should submit to our own husband. I want to thank God. I listened to one message that Mommy Malung preached last week. The message really touched me. She said before, if she, if she will carry her money to use for everything, food, about food, but she will still complain. Me, before now, so me, I used to complain. Where, where, if I carry my money to use for the house, I used to complain. Where, but since that day, I pray to God that God should help me and take away complaint in my life. And I appreciate the love of the Lord that you don't already take it in my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, husbands, check whether your wife has spoken her own. Yeah. Husbands that are here, check up. I'm waiting. I'm checking up to myself. Yes. Amen. Yeah. I thank God for today's topic, total submission. Me, I the kind of person that any small thing my husband talk to me, I will not answer him. He will talk, 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 talk. Whoa. But today, this teacher really touched me. I, I the kind of person, if my husband touched me, I will begin to rely. Any small thing, or I say my picking this and that. So I thank God for today that the Lord will help me to be submission for all area in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for her, pray for her. The Lord will help her. Pray for her. Yeah, all sinful character, the Lord will purify from her life. 
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name of prayer. Yes, next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, <clears throat> apologies, Daddy. I was very, very late for the morning devotion, so I didn't quite capture what was being said. Okay. But I do have a question. No question. Confession. <laughs> I don't have much to say. That. Okay, repeat after me. Repeat. Okay. I, Juliet. I, Juliet. Today. Today. In Horemo headquarters, Abuja. In Horemo headquarters, Abuja. Have heard. Have heard. That I should submit to my husband. I should submit to my husband. And therefore. And therefore. I have promised. I have promised. That from today. That from today. I will submit to my husband. I will submit to in my husband. Everything. In everything. Finish. Yes. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. All right. I am happy to be here this morning. Yes. I was late this morning, but from the few uh, information I gathered from other women, I just learned that God is helping us in this movement. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because I have been one of the persons that's very, very stubborn to my husband. If he he will give me counsel, because I was blessed to marry a very kind man, very kind man. But sometimes when he's talking, I will be defending myself. And it reached to the point, because since I graduated 2019, I've been trusting God for a job. But not knowing that this job hindrance is because of my lack of submission. So from while they were talking, I decided to go through the Bible, the, the, the Bible uh, meshes. And I discovered the thought for the day is submission is the key to women ministry. I discovered that I was using my hand to hinder myself because I can remember a working and say, your husband will pray for you before I get you a job. And to admit, I will be all the time, I will say, I'm talking. Then how I get a job, everything finished. One Sunday, made me fair, I will say, I'm talking, I will hold my hand until I get a job. And my thought for that job have always been when I get it, whatever I want to do with myself, that what I will do, I will not. But I'm happy to be here in Jesus' name. As Jonah, uh, God brought, carried Jonah to Nineveh through the fish. That was how my coming here was. Every time people, the brethren from Liberia would say, Sister, let us go for, uh, to the camp for conference. I say, I'm ready to go here. The people are going there when they come i see their life as that the record then will go but jesus himself brought me here for me to attend and i am feeling the touch and i'm feeling that difference in my life i am grateful to god in jesus my so name. what's your decision for your husband my decision is i have discovered that this ministry of submission will give rise so many open doors in my life so i have taken that decision from today in jesus name what decision did you take the decision to be submissive to my husband thank you very much mm -hmm. yes praise god praise the lord hallelujah um i learned a lot of things today yes um, because i discovered that uh, each time i'm not doing well to my husband he will not help me at home okay for some works and other but whenever i submitted to him he will help me so i now said to like today's teaching and i decided that i will be doing well so that that uh, joy will flow praise the lord amen praise the lord uh today's devotion i really learned a lot and i thank god for the devotion our teacher emphasized on um on the book of ephesians and when he write down to chapter 33 he said that we should reverence our husband and when he explained the meaning of that reverence he said it's deep respect fear like the way you honor your husband should be deeply just like the way you honor god he still said something. He said, 
Some women, when they see their pastor's call, maybe their pastor called them. Before you know, even they don't have money, they can go and borrow money to buy a card to call their pastor. But if they see their husband's call, at times they'll say, I'll call him back. That is very bad. It's better you give that respect to your husband, not your pastor. Because you cannot respect your pastor and leave your husband. So I pray that God will give me the grace to respect my husband more and more in Jesus' Amen. name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Although I came late, but I had about commission. Yes. My husband will be saying I'm a nagging woman. Nagging. Even though my daughter will be telling me to keep quiet, keep quiet. When I keep quiet, <laughs> then he says something that got me annoyed. When I got annoyed, I started talking to him. From today, I pray that God will give me the grace that the spirit of nagging will remove from my body in Jesus. pray for her nagging goal everybody command nagging to get out of her she will not knock anymore she will not knock anymore she will submit she will learn how to obey be patient be patient take away anger complain god do it for her in jesus name yes next person praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah I really appreciate God for today's teaching. So when our teacher was teaching us this morning, I see the area of my weaknesses. Because he was telling us that we should be submissive to our husband in every area. Because when you are submissive to your husband, you are also obeying the Lord Jesus Christ. So when the teaching was going on, I started seeing some weaknesses in my life because at times my husband would do such certain things that i would not like i would start talking and he would even tell me that it's okay but i would like to express my feeling in detail so that he will know that he has hurt me but this morning i have learned that even when your husband make a word or a decision we should obey Despite that we even look at it so foolishly, as far as he's the head of the family, we should obey him. So I pray that God will help my life, that if, if any weaknesses in my life, that God should remove it so that I will be perfect in all, in Amen. Jesus' name. Praise the Have they finished? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for today's daily devotional. I learned that uh, I should be obedient, uh, respectful, and humble, and to receive grace, to be submissive to my husband. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Tell her to come and say it again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said what I learned in today's daily devotional is this. That I learned that I should uh, be humble, be respectful, and to receive grace to be submissive to my husband. That you are receiving grace, I have not understood it. What do you mean by to receive grace? What I mean is that there are many things he may ask you to do. Yes. And you must receive the grace to do all. It may not fail. You will not fail all. Okay. Yes. What is your decision on those things he asks you to do? From now hence. My decision is to, is to, is to do all. Mm -hmm. It is then you will receive grace. You, are mind, you have to make up your mind before grace will come. Otherwise you say, I didn't receive grace so I couldn't do it. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. The next person. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Two. <laughs> My confession truly, God is helping me by the grace of God. In submission to my husband, God is helping me. Except I know the major area that I have issues is the 
issue of coming to this ministry. That's just the major area that I know I have issues with him. And um, I'm praying about it. And I have taken my decision, which he is seeing it as kind of stubbornness. That's just the area that he's feeling that I am not submissive enough. That is also the area that God calls you, that you respect him more than man. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So sir. God is helping me. I pray that God will help me more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I received the teaching of Torumo. Plus the, the teaching of the Bible. Of today, God is helping me. Yes. With the teaching, I say, ah, this teaching, I didn't say they are teaching this in my church. Some women, they can submit to their husband. Mm. And by the grace of God, God is helping me. Anything that I did that I say, ah, my husband is angry. Hey, submit, 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 submit. The spirit of submission, I say, this is spirit of submission. God helped me to submit. And this is how God is helping me to submit to my husband. And then my husband used to tell me the area that I, uh, I, I would faint him. I said, okay, I will, I will submit. But uh, the problem is that this, uh, our husband, the spirit of love, I said, uh, the spirit of submission is a simple thing. But if you love your wife, your wife can submit unto you. But by the grace of God, God is helping me with my husband who are doing well in Jesus' name. I pray that God will give me more grace so that I will submit more to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank the name of the Lord for today's message. Yes. Proverbs 31. She's a perfect woman. A virtuous woman. A woman that... That has been my prayer even before I got married. I will fast and do dry fasting. I will be praying, Lord, make me this kind of woman. I want to be this kind of woman. Proverbs 31. I will read it. I will pray. Now you are married. And I'm praying. Now you are married. Go on. You are now, married now. Now yeah. that I'm married, I just pray. God will help me. I'm just praying for the grace. I'm trying my best in my own way. But I'm praying for the grace to be a perfect woman. To be a, woman, a virtuous woman. A woman without comma. That is just my prayer. You are preaching to us. I pray the I Lord want you help to me. tell your decision. What is your decision now? My decision is to, is to live a life of perfectness in the home. Without anything. As in living a life of peace. I'm living a life of peace. Bring in the your home. husband inside. It. My decision is to do like that to my husband. My husband. Say like that. Let me hear. But I did not get you. Call the name of your husband inside. Okay. Don't speak as a single girl. Speak as a married woman. Okay. My decision yeah. is to is for God to help me to No. What do you want to do according to the teaching now? What have you promised to do to your husband? Okay, to be submissive to my husband. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> you know, there is somebody who didn't believe the doctrine of sanctification as a second definite christian experience as is being taught by the church but the church organized an interview and this person came forward what did they call this person he came they said they asked him what is sanctification he said according to professor so Sanctification is this, 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 this. It's a second definite experience subsequent to salvation. According to doctors, you know, he has not talked his own yet. Because his own is different. That's why I want her to be direct. I, faith, have promised I will submit to my husband. That's how I want it to be. Is that all right? Yes. Next one, continue. Praise the Lord. I, Finda Sengova, I promise God that I will always submit to my husband in all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning. What I understood from the message is, 
is something that all the women need to learn and know that without submission, no heaven for any woman. So submission is the main thing that if any woman wants to go to heaven, you have to pray for the gift and the spirit of submissiveness to your husband. Because when you look at the time of Sarah, because she laughed when Abraham was telling him to be patient. I think she lacks submission in that area that no, you must sleep with my maid. And that is how the, the problem started. So submission is not only submitting your body, it's to submit your will, submit your desire. From the time the husband took you as a wife, everything about you dissolved into the husband. That is how I understood submission. Therefore, so, therefore I evangelist <laughs> Linda Porica submit myself to Daddy Rica and I will continue in Jesus name Amen Amen Okay Let's rise up and pray that as these women have taken this decision the grace of God will be sufficient for them the Lord will rain grace upon their lives. Open your mouth and pray for them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There's any area where the enemy wants to attack is a home. You see a spiritual woman. I'm a very spiritual in the church, but go to the house. God wants to give us a home, not a house. We are going to pray. Every demonic force attacking our sisters every force of darkness that have taken hold of our women our mothers our wives let the power of the holy ghost mess them now in the name of jesus bind them out from those houses go ahead and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray this is the reason why many will not go to heaven despite all the sacrifice in the church in their work with god go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Every hole of Satan, every demonic hole of Satan on the, our sisters, our wives, our mothers, we bind them. We bind them. We cast them out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Bow. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Take over our homes. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The spirit of obedience. You just see yourself willingly obeying willingly submitting yourself he has the spirit of god let's pray for the spirit of god the lord will give them the spirit of obedience the spirit to sub be submissive they will not see their husband they will see the lord jesus they will not see their husband they will see the lord jesus go ahead and pray go ahead and pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus go ahead and pray oh lord take over oh lord take over oh lord take over in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Lord, the spirit of obedience, submissiveness. Lord, take it over. Take over in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shall say better, amen. amen. We pray for the singles. 
We pray for the singles. The reason why some brothers, no matter how the revelation comes, they will not go and propose to that sister. Why? The character. If I marry this kind of woman in my house, my life is finished. We are going to pray. All our single sisters, the Lord will begin to work on them. The Lord will begin to work on them. The virtue of submissiveness, the Lord will inculcate in their lives. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, go ahead and pray. That the spirit of the word of God that has been coming in this commission, that has been coming in this place, all of possess them. In the name of Jesus, all our sisters, all our single sisters, oh God. Lord, as they have been, oh God, they have been under this place. Lord, take over. Lord, take over their spirit, their soul, and their body in the name of Jesus. They will obey the Lord. They will obey the word of God. They will be submissive. Total submission in the name of Jesus. Lord, do it. Lord, do it. In the name of Jesus. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shout a better amen now. Huh? We'll pray a little for our, our brothers, uh, the husbands. Some of us are stumbling blocks to making our wives not to be submissive. What? Before you know, the spirit of anger will be, will be imputed in the home. We are going to pray. Oh God. The spirit of love. Lord, that I will love my wife. Our brothers will love their wives. Oh Lord, that it will create a love atmosphere in the home. It will create a good atmosphere for our sisters to submit. Go ahead, let's go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. They will not be stumbling blocks in the name of Jesus. But Lord, the Lord will use them to create an atmosphere of love in the house. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Lord, use me. Pray for yourself too. Lord, help me to create an atmosphere of love in the house. I will not be a stumbling block. In the name of Jesus, I will love my wife. I will love my family. I will create an atmosphere of love in the house. In the name of Jesus, take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're going to pray for our families now. Our families will be model to others in Jesus' name. There will be a picture of the scripture in the name of Jesus. There will be a reference point in the name of Jesus that others will come to your home. They will visit. They will say, I want to have my family like this. I want my home to be like this. Oh Lord, make our families like that. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. My family will be a reference point. My family will be a reference point. It will be a picture of the scripture. In the mighty name of Jesus, go ahead and pray for, the, for our sisters, for our brothers. Even the children will learn. Even the children upcoming will learn. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray for the singles. Pray well, pray well, pray well. For our brothers, pray well. Our sisters, my home shall be the picture of this. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. For all you have done this morning, receive all the praise, all the glory, all adoration in Jesus' name. Thank you for your visitation. That which you have done in the life of our sisters, even for our brothers, remains permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Son of God. Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen.